Hi everyone, welcome back to USS Salmon's weekly patrol log. Here we are, um, and we are all eyes on the horizon because we have spotted kind of a small task group. Um, so there you might be able to see there's a destroyer just on the horizon. Uh, you see this? Anyway, so there's a destroyer there. Um, there's a destroyer there. Destroyer there. Merchant ship there. So it's a merchant ship trailing three destroyers. So, what is that merchant ship carrying that requires three destroyers to escort her? Seems a little bit overkill. Um, so we got one of those interesting things. Do we try and investigate and maybe sink the merchant? And then, obviously the uh, three destroyers will try, come and try and kill us. Now, is it worth the bother? That is what you got to ask yourself. As so we got a face full of salty water. Um, one merchant, three escorts. It's probably not worth our time and their effort, to be honest with you. What I might see is whether or not... What I'm wondering is, maybe they're not escorting the freighter and they just happen to be traveling the same trade route or whatever so that is our little hunter killer anti-submarine uh, warfare patrol uh, and they just haven't just stumbled along uh, a merchant ship going along in the same direction so um, what I'm probably gonna do is just stalk them for a little while see if they actually go past the merchant ship and if they do go past the merchant ship and leave them isolated that will be our moment to uh, have an attack but for now we're going to keep our distance, but keep an eye on them. Warship, bearing, one, six, six, moving away. Right, uh, unfortunately, following that small task group, uh, the weather's set in, so we've uh, been unable to... Um, Six five closing. They've gone behind us almost. One of the destroyers seem to have um, broken away and um, looped around behind that group, maybe detecting something or just doing um, a bit of a maneuver to see if they can detect anything around there. Um, but I think this is probably well uh, struggling to keep up with them. Obviously, you can't do that while we're, whilst we're submerged, and with this destroyer keeping. A uh, watchful eye. It's probably best that we just bow out gracefully here. One, six, one uh, you know, one. Oh, that, no, that's not, so it's a mark on the screen. I thought that was it. Um, one merchant ship is not really worth the hassle of going up against three destroyers. So, um, yeah, let's just give call that quits. It's not worth our effort all the time. So let's um, let's get out of here. Let's find something more profitable. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, it's uh, under the cover of darkness. We are hunting just in the waters around Rabul. And um, yeah, so Rabul's over there. Uh, but over here, we are running to a position where we could potentially intercept um, some ships coming in. We've detected them. Now, there they are, look. Um, there are, what we believe, four merchant ships. One, two, three, four. There is also, they've got one escort ship there. So the idea is we'll be going to try and sneak in, let the escort ship pass. Or do we try and sink the escort ship and then have free reign on the other four merchant vessels? Oh, it's a conundrum. Because we're unlikely to be able to hit all four merchants in one go. So maybe, yeah, maybe if we take out the escort, then we've got a better chance of finishing off these um, merchants. They'll, of course, try to scatter, which will may put pay to getting all of them but we may have a little bit more chance to uh, 
finish them off at a later point. But anyway, for now we are charging in front of them, flank speed ahead to try and get ahead and set up an ambush. Right, okay. We are in position. There's the patrol boat and here are the... That is, looks like a big juicy um, troop ship or something. That is definitely going to be a good target. And those two look pretty nice as well. That one's a little bit small. But we'll certainly try and take them if we can. Right, this... Um, it's a little patrol boat type-esque vessel which... Okay, I think it might be a destroyer escort. So, oh well, we need to get that logged in. Now, I did a speed check earlier on. I uh, did 1100 meters, which means they're doing, in 3 minutes to 15, which means they're doing about 11 knots. So we'll get that calculated in there. Uh, range currently. Is about that. Let's keep that tracking. Right then, uh, let's get tubes one and two open. Actually, let's open all four tubes because I'll try and get some snapshots away on the other ships as well. Right, tube one. Fire. Okay, good hits, and that destroyer is gone. It was an escort um, Wataki uh, class for 912 tons. Right. Let's get tube 5 open. We've got a merchant moving, which we assume is going to be the same kind of speed. We need to identify what she is first. Um, wondering if it's a uh, Hansa uh, merchant again. Anyway, we'll go with that for now. Um, we'll get that put down. Um, range. Now that we've, we think we've identified it, let's get that onto the top there. Get that locked in. Angle of bow is. We'll calculate in a second. Well, now speed. We had it at eleven knots. I'm, I'm going to assume they've slowed down a bit. So let's put it in at ten. Uh, this could be a modern composite freighter. Let's get that logged in. Let's get the uh, range sorted for this one as well. Try and get them all in. Angle of bow is about 141. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so tube 5. Best of luck, fire. Torpedo in the water. I think we've missed. 
I should have gone past by now. Uh, she's sailing away, so um, we're not going to waste too much time on her when we've got larger ships coming into the area. Uh, so we'll lock onto this one, which we think was that Hamza freighter, wasn't it? Yeah. Or Han... Uh, Hansa, yeah. However you pronounce it. Right, so let's um recalculate this one. Okay, two good hits. A chance and another look. She's smoking. She's still going. Oh, we'll give her a bit of time because like I've only got one torpedo left, and we definitely want to have a shot at that. I'm gonna shot at both of these really, but um. Yeah. Hey, are we missing one? There's one, two, three. Oh no, four. That is right. That is right. That is right. There was four, wasn't it? I thought there's um. I thought we lost one for a moment. Right. So, two torpedo hits into that hand. Hand. I think it is fast uh, merchant ship. Now, what the key question is, that's got a deck gun on the rear. I can see that from here. That one doesn't appear to have a deck gun. So if we could finish that one and the hands are off, we could potentially surface and shoot that one with a deck gun. If that is a possibility. You can see the, deck, the rear deck guns on this one. Um, yeah. I don't know what this is, and she's she's at an easy, she looks like she's going relatively slow as well, doesn't she? Ah, well, I think we probably just look to try and target this one and see if we can um, get anything out of it. It looks like a yeah, it looks like a troop ship. So let's get that locked in. Uh, with that set, we can now try and calculate the range. There we go, four thousand yards. Angular bow is 85. Speed. Keep that as it is, maybe. Alright. Tube 8. Fire. Ah, oh dear, that hasn't worked out. Um, so the projected... Ooh, there she goes. That's the Hansa. She's had three torpedoes and she's just gone boom. Fair enough. Right, so the this ship, the troop ship, darting behind there. Uh, unfortunately, we the torpedo would have basically intercepted at this point here. Um, but because this um, damaged ship started to slow... Uh, we've ended up striking that one for a third time. She ran some good interference. Uh, and it is indeed a fast Hansa merchant for 7,590 tons. Not the one we wanted to shoot at, but anyway. Um, she's gone for third and final time, so that troop ship is turning and running. Where's the other one? Directly behind us, but we don't have any rearward torpedoes. We're turning the boat around because we're reloading. We've got tubes one, two, and three reloaded, so we're going to use them trying to finish this one off. And then we might go and have to hunt down that troop ship. Right, I think we've got it locked in. Let's um, open tube one and tube three. 
Fire. Fire. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Yes, sir. Surface above. Torpedo impact. Okay, we've got a. Well, amazingly, we've got to actually hit. I thought we'd missed. Um, we were. Oh, I thought we'd missed, so we're going to surface the boats to chase them under the dark cover of darkness. But uh, we've got a hit, and she looks dead. Let's just confirm. It's a split merchant for 7,390 tons. Sorry, I couldn't make that out if it's 300 or 800. I'm getting tired, my old eyes. Right, with that done, well, we're just surfacing the boat, so I'm going to charge this troop ship down and see if we can use the deck gun on her. The other ship, I think we've long lost and uh, may never see her again. But okay. Tube one ready, sir. Right, as we jump on the deck gun, there is that troop ship. Now, that's going to be quite somewhere away. So let's get that probably... Oh, let's go 5,000 yards. Oh, it's way too itchy. Um, and get some feelers out to see where that's going to land. 5,000 yards. On the money. Good God. Okay. High explosives, see if we can get the ship ablaze. Couldn't see any dead guns on her. Oh, that was right on the waterline. Get some fires going, that'd be good. Uh, maybe we need to start targeting the, uh, the stern to see if we can knock out anything important with the propulsion. Uh, get her, you know, once her ship becomes dead in the water, then she's pretty much in trouble. Oh, hang on. Is that the other ship next to her? Hang on, that could be a problem, because I think that one had a deck gun. Yeah, let's slow down a bit. We're at an okay range. Closing a little bit too fast. We could um, put ourselves in a bit of jeopardy here. Lots of hits, nothing really happening. Yes, sir. Ahead slow. Ooh, a red distress flare has been launched. Could she be actually in distress or she's just calling the aid of the other ship maybe? Getting some hits down on the waterline now. 
It starts speeding up a touch. The other ship has moved. Eh. A little bit of a worry. Um, trying to sink a massive ship like this troop ship with the deck gun is going to be a challenge, that's for sure. Actually, there's no fires going. I fear what there might be is that if we're getting close to Rabul, then um, there may be some destroyers on patrol or something which may well re react to that red flare in the sky. Ooh, an explosion! Just as we're getting the uh, the guns up, has she gone or modern troop ship? Nine thousand tons. She's gone. Holy smokes! Now, do we dare risk shooting at that little one? That might have deck guns. I seem to remember it did. Right, we do have four torpedoes left, so what we could probably do is have a quick shot. If they get a turn fire and we get hit, then um, we can dive away. We have to get some damage, then, you know, we're not a million miles from... Oh, too far. We're not a million miles from the base, and we need to return there to reload soon anyway, so... Uh, our main objectives are complete. Oh, boom! I expect there to be a little flash of yellow or orange and um, she may start firing back at us soon. A bit more on the old elevation. I'm wondering if that first hit has knocked out their, um, their gun. That would be amazing if it has. I think nothing, nothing like miracles we got it on the first shot. That would be something special. Maybe their deck gun doesn't have quite the range that ours does, which gives us a significant advantage in this moment. Is that errant? No, no, it's looking good. It's, coming, it's curling back. Oh, it's short. It's pulling away from us. Which, if uh, that is the issue where the their deck gun doesn't have as long a range as us, then that's got in front. Okay. Firing all around it, but not actually hitting it. There you go. Oh, that was a good one. Another one like that, please. Long. Just keep double checking, make sure it hasn't gone in the time. So we can save our ammo. Yeah, if we can clear this convoy, that will be sweet. You know, we've had a couple of um, misses with the torpedoes, a couple of good hits. One I thought I'd missed, and I was just about to um, charge after them, and then we actually struck him, so... Must have slightly miscalculated the... the range, I guess, because... Um, or the actual torpedo travel time. Because, uh, yeah, the little stopwatch said that we should have hit by the time I'd ordered. Right, let's uh, start to uh, surface the boat. Um, but no, we'd obviously miscalculated somewhere. Don't only mind them, but um, that's what it takes is between a, a hit and a miss is a tiny error. And by the time it, it gets all the way out to the range of the ship, obviously that's magnitude magnified, sorry, numerous times over, so one of those things, but nothing to worry about.
Okay, that could be her auxiliary transport, 1,481 tons, gone. Nice, so we've cleared the entire group. The escort, um, Wakataki class for 912 tons, the fast Hansa merchant for 7,590 tons, the split merchant for 7,390 tons, the troop ship for 9,000 tons, and just now, the auxiliary cruiser for 1,481 tons. Nice. Right. We only have four torpedoes left, I believe. Yes, that's correct. Only four torpedoes for the front tubes to go. Um, our objectives are complete. So as we secure from battle stations, that's starting to sink. Um, yeah, confirmation. We've completed our patrol. So, uh, with only four torpedoes left, maybe it's time to start heading back. Maybe get a reload and come back out here, or perhaps time to um, head back for a hard stop to see if there's any upgrades and stuff for the boat that we could potentially look to um, bring in. Good stuff. Right, so while that slowly slips beneath the waves, we'll probably leave that there for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our convoy clearance this week. Um, it's certainly going to help the old tonnage of the boats as well. So, so we'll probably leave it there for this week. Um, we're going to start heading back to port now, get a, at minimum, a rearm and a refuel. Um, but we may well look to end the patrol, uh, see if there are any new orders, potential upgrades for the boat. And we'll come out swinging next time. But we'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.